Today we're going to discuss what might be the best $10 option we have in the multi-tool arena. $10, I do not expect all that much, but I feel like I'm getting a lot more than my $10 worth with this particular tool. For one thing, it is one-handed as a utility knife blade, and that is something that is a bit unusual at the $10 price point. Now, you can get some that are more expensive that are going to obviously have one-handed capability, but it's not that common, believe it or not. Not in this compact form factor. So if I just press the button down and slide it forward, it has a locking point both in the closed position and in the open position, like so. And while we're here, I should correct a big error that I made in my unboxing of this tool. You can, in fact, take out and replace the blades. All I have to do is when it's in the open position, hold down the orange button and then it will come out. So if I have a dull blade, I can flip it around and access the opposite side, stick it back in, and there we go. It also lets me take out the blade if I go somewhere where blades are not necessarily permitted. Also, we have a flathead here at the top and a two-dimensional Phillips here on the bottom. Now, keeping in mind that this steel is probably not heat treated to a very high hardness. So these are going to likely bend after moderate use, but I'd rather still have them than not. It also has a pocket clip, a bottle opener, and a lanyard spot. And thankfully the lanyard spot is exactly opposite the pocket clip, meaning that you can use this tool also as a dangler for your keys. Another nice little added bonus. That's just forethought right there. I don't know if that's what they meant to do, but we're just going to assume that they knew what they were doing. Now, what else do we have about this? So I'm calling this a $10 multi-tool. Well, theoretically, that's true, but it brings up the question, where do we draw the line on what is considered a multi-tool or a dedicated item? I'm calling it a multi-tool because it has two drivers and a utility knife blade. Where would you draw the line? Let me know down in the comments. Now at $10, I think this is actually a really good consideration, even just as a utility knife blade. Now, it's not going to be as thin as some of the more expensive tools, and this kind of reminds me of the TPT slide, which is almost 10 times as much as this, but, but it has an actuator like a button on the top, which keeps it nice and thin. So even with that, it's still pretty thin. It's thinner than most folding knives, and it's probably small enough to fit into most fifth pockets on jeans or whatever pants you have. So nice and compact, easy to use, $10. Easy, easier said than done, right? And it's worth having a utility knife blade in a lot of cases because maybe you wanna do something on a hard surface that would damage an otherwise very, very nice blade. So having a utility knife blade that you can use instead of it, well, that's a really good thing to have. $10? Yeah, I'm going to call this good at the 10. Let me know, though, is there any other multi-tools at the $10 price point, 10 and under, that I may have missed? At the 20, I think I'm pretty confident in saying that the Milwaukee Fastback 6-in-1 is uh, the go-to, for at least for me. And yes, I'm actually calling this a multi-tool for the same reason that I'm calling the Sidewinder a multi-tool. Feel free to correct me, and that's okay. We can have a debate about it. I'd love to have a debate about it, in fact, because I'm still not quite sure myself. But $10, yeah, I like it. I dig it. Definitely something worth considering as maybe a stocking stuffer for someone. Who knows? I can imagine a lot of future opportunities for me to have these, give them away to different people who might need something and don't want to necessarily carry a full-sized blade. Anyway, that's it. Real short and sweet today. Thanks for stopping in. We'll talk again soon.